everybody, this is Kevin Potter from Potter Press or Potter USA and this is going to be the long awaited how to put your electric hydraulic press together. So here we go. So when you receive this, it's going to come in four boxes. The frame comes in a box, the cylinder comes in a box, and the pump comes in a box, and your platen and this come in a box. Okay, and you'll get a pack of springs with two bolts and some nuts. So, you open them up, take out your springs, take out your bolts, there we go. The way these work, there's holes drilled in here. So they hook in like that. Okay? So, we're going to hook both our springs in, then we're going to take our pump, our, this is a hydraulic ram, we're going to set this on here, and we're going to take our bolts that come with it, and a washer, Put it on. Then you will put nuts on the bottom. This all goes together real easy. It all fits. Everything's been assembled before I ship it to you, so we, we test everything. Okay. These are sometimes attached, sometimes not. Just depends. Anyway, you'll pop off the little caps. This is your pressure gauge and this is always going to attach to the bottom of the cylinder because this is going to deter this is the pushing side of the ram this will let you know how much pressure you're getting you screw on and it's really important that you tighten these up with a wrench finger tight isn't going to do it you'll have oil leaking all over the place Tighten these on. They don't have to be insanely tight, just snug. Okay. Next step. This hose. I like to put it, there's going to be a red cap in it. Pull that out. Goes on the bottom. You can put it on the top. It really doesn't matter but we're just going to put them on the bottom. Tighten it up. Then, there's this hose. Move your fittings, fittings on. Whatever you do, don't forget to tighten those fittings. It will be a big mess. There will be oil everywhere. So now we've got both of our fittings on, everything's tightened, we're going to put the platen on. Platen tilts in like this, there's that, then take your bolts, they got holes drilled in them, put it on, slide it through. And do your next one. Slide it through. Sometimes there's a little bit of powder coat still on the edge, but they will fit, I promise. Snug them up a little bit. Okay, next step. There's a, a port here. It's covered. You're going to take this on, you're going to unbolt this. There we go. 
it says oil. This is where your oil goes. So what you're going to do, you will have gone to a auto parts store and you should probably get yourself a funnel like this. And it comes in buckets like this one down here on the floor. You can get it in one gallon buckets and five gallon buckets. It's called hydraulic oil. It's not brake fluid, it's hydraulic oil. And it's not jack oil either. It's, it's this stuff. It kind of looks like motor oil. And you'd pour it in there. This takes about, if you put in a gallon and a half to a gallon and three quarters, you will be just fine. That's all you're going to need. I've already filled it with oil though. So, next step is to plug it in. You don't want to use an extension cord. This is a one, horse, one horsepower motor. You're going to want to keep it close to the outlet so that it doesn't lose amperage. The on off switch is right on the back of this little housing here. It's got a little plastic protection thing on it. You're going to turn it on. And then you'll pull back and away it goes. Hear that sound? That's the bypass valve. We're at maximum pressure. We're at 2500 psi. That squeaking sound that you hear is the rubber seals on the ram. When everything's brand new like this, it's going to make some squeaky noises. But eventually that'll stop. So it has a pretty fast cycle time, and you can control, you can park it. So I could stop it right here, and it'll stay. I can make it go really slow. So that I have a lot of control, or speed it up. This is the only type of electric hydraulic press that has all these features. It's got power going up and power going down. And it's really not as loud as it sounds on the video. I know it sounds pretty loud, but in person it's not that bad. It's a lot quieter than anything else on the market. And this is your upper platen. It's magnetic. There you go. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.